ABC's Jay O'Brien there on Capitol Hill. So, Jay, leave it to the Irish um, to bring Biden and McCarthy together and not only channel their roots, but hopefully reconciliation as well and uh, get somewhere uh, when it comes to, to policy. And there's two Irish journalists to break it down, you and me, Kira. But it's yeah, so, so perfect. <laughs> it's, so, it's, it's, it's the happy St. Paddy's Day. Um, it, it's interesting because that shot before it went to the Irish prime minister who's speaking there shows President Biden and Speaker McCarthy sitting next to one another at this event. And that underscores a lot of the news that we're seeing come out of this event, which is the message from President Biden on bipartisanship. I want to walk you through a little bit of what he said. He first talks about the extremes in both our parties, speaking I to Republicans that. and Democrats thought. there. Also speaking about uh, notes of bipartisan saying, as you said, that being Irish can bring them together and can bridge the gap there. Both of them talking about their Irish roots. Uh, Speaker McCarthy talking about his Irish American roots that go all the way back to the 1800s. President Biden talking about his family. It wouldn't be St. Patrick's Day without two Irishmen talking, telling stories about their grandfathers, right? But all of it shows, as President Biden alluded to, that the people who are tasked with making policy in the United States, the two principals right now locked in negotiation, President Biden and Speaker McCarthy, do have a lot in common. They both have a deep connection to the Congress, their careers in Congress, they're both Irish and so on. But nonetheless, they still are locked in tension over a number of different issues that hang over events like this one today. The ongoing House GOP investigations into President Biden, into his family, into his administration, and those negotiations that need to still play out over the debt ceiling and the need to essentially raise the limit on the U.S. government's credit card. Republicans saying they don't want to vote to do that without spending concessions. The White House saying that they don't want to talk about spending concessions until the debt ceiling is raised. So there are still big points of tension, but President Biden trying to use this event to talk about bipartisanship and the need for both parties to work together, Kira. So that's one part of what we were waiting to hear and see as um, this this meeting is taking place between the Irish Prime Minister and, and the President. There's there's that one side of, of McCarthy and, and Biden and what they need to work out. But then also the Prime Minister is here to talk business with the President. Um, both on the same page when it comes to the war in Ukraine. Yeah, and that is a, a, a big point of every time a European leader comes to the White House or the president meets with them, they always talk about Ukraine because of the concerns that various European leaders have about the situation in Ukraine or the need for, Ukra for consistent support, the president says, from European nations for Ukraine. So the president saying, based on that Oval Office meeting that he just had with the Irish PM, that they are on the same page, that they are both strongly behind Ukraine. Also, and as he just said in his remarks there, the president talking about that visit he's having to Ireland coming uh, on the 25th anniversary of, of, the, um, uh, uh, of the accords there that ended the troubles. Um, and, and so that is another thing that the president's looking forward to. We heard the Irish PM say that he's going to make sure that the president has a good visit there. But certainly in terms of policy, Ukraine uh, weighing heavy on this meeting and also of note because uh, the T-shirt is here, President Biden talking about Ukraine with him, but now they're in a room with Speaker Kevin McCarthy who has said that he doesn't want to write a quote-unquote blank check for Ukraine. And one of the questions that confronts the new House Republican majority is what will their level of support be for Ukraine going forward. So that's another one of those things that hangs over uh, this meeting, Kira. And it's interesting to see when they all sit at the same table, does that issue come up? We will continue to watch and also uh, wrapping up the, the luncheon amid all the politics will also be the music. Cherish the ladies are going to perform, so we'll try to dip in to get a little of that culture in there as well. Jay, thank you so much.